So this is Camtasia version three. And what you'll do first is you're gonna record your presentation or whatever's on your screen. So let's do that first. Head over to the top left, it says record, and I'm going to click on that. And it shows here what it's going to record. So we've got the built-in microphone uh, and that's green. So we're gonna record uh, my voice. It's going to record the color LCD or the, the, the screen of the computer. You can also switch over, switch it to you know different sizes that you might wanna record just part of the screen or choose something unique. But I usually just do the full screen and then cut it down to size uh, later. So let's do that. Um, do we need the system audio? Like if it's if it's playing some music or making noises, and if you want the FaceTime camera or any other webcam, so if you want to have yourself visible on the final product. So I'm happy with this. I'm just going to go through a quick little YouTube lesson, I guess, just to uh, show you how this works. So let's go ahead and start the recording. It's going to give me a countdown for three seconds, and now it's ready to go. You'll notice up top here this. A uh, little film icon has turned red, so that means that we're recording. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this uh, a sample. So I'm gonna go to the upper right and click on the, this, and then click on the Creator Studio. And then once I'm inside Creator Studio, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Analytics over here. And this is the analytics for a test account, which doesn't have any video, so it doesn't have any analytics. But that is just a, a sample recording that I'll use to explain how to add the cursor and zooms and whatnot. So let's, now I'm gonna head up here and click on this icon again and say stop recording. Okay, so now what it's done is it's brought it in, it's put it in the media bin here. Um, this is our recording of the screen and it also has put it down here on our timeline. So essentially we've got the, the stuff you can do over here. What does it look like here in the viewer? And then this is the timeline going along just, uh, you know, what's, what's displayed here at the playhead is what's going to show up in the upper right or upper the viewer. And then we've got this over here. This is the properties. So we can turn properties on or off. I always just leave that on so that we can see what's going on. So let me go ahead and put the playhead all the way to the left, and I'm just gonna push the play button here. And now it's ready to go. You'll notice up top here this uh, little film. So what I'm gonna do is find the spot where I actually start the presentation. Let's see. Looks like it's maybe right here. Let's give it a play. So I'm gonna go to the upper right. Yep, so that's where I start describing it. And you can see here what this is is the volume of what you recorded. So anytime you're speaking, it's recording this, this kind of waveform here. So that makes it an easy way to find parts of your presentation. So I am gonna get rid of this first little bit. So I can go to the edge of this and click on it until once it gets this little arrow and then move it over. And now I'm gonna take this whole thing and click on it and move it to the beginning. So now I'm at zero. Okay, so you can see here where the mouse has moved around a lot. Uh, so let's go over here and this is where we're gonna add effects. So we'll start with the cursor effects and we've got three choices. Uh, you can magnify what's underneath the cursor, you can highlight the cursor, or you can kind of gray out everything else. So let's just do this real quick. Let's do a cursor highlight and you take it and just drag it down here. And you'll see this little um, button shows up here, this little arrow. You can click on that and you'll see this is one of the effects. So it'll layer these effects on here. And also it's as long as the effect is taking place. So we could say, well, don't do this in the beginning. We're only gonna do it once we reach a certain point in this clip, and then we're gonna make it go away at a certain point. So just stretching the ends of those is gonna apply that cursor effect. So let's go ahead and um, check and see what it looks like right now. So you can see the cursors in the upper right. So that's the highlighted cursor. We can change things like how big is it? Uh, we can change the color of the highlight over here on properties. Uh, so lots of choices there. And um, I'm gonna kind of take that one off just by highlighting it and deleting it. And let's just go show you what a cursor spotlight is because this one's kind of cool too. This 
essentially grays out the background. You can also do things, so the opacity here, we can, we can show the background, but let's blur it all out. So the only thing that's visible here is what's underneath the cursor. So everything else is blurred or everything else, uh, you can even do it so it's everything else is has no color. So the only spots on the screen that have color are underneath the cursor. So there's a lot of ways that you can choose to highlight where the cursor is. The one thing that I don't like about this is I have a tendency to move the cursor around a little bit as I'm going, as I'm talking, and that makes this jittery feeling on the screen if you're just having it automatically chase the cursor around the screen, but it is definitely easy. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna delete it out. And we're gonna try a different effect. This is the zoom in effect. So let's go over here to animations. I'm gonna actually zoom this screen out a lot so I have some space to work around this. We're gonna move the playhead to where we want the animation to take place, so where we wanna zoom in. And I'm gonna choose a custom one and drop it down here on top of the thing I wanna animate. And you'll see this time it gives us an arrow. So we can kind of set the arrow for what's it gonna look like in the beginning and what's it gonna look like in the end. So uh, the beginning is fine where it is. Let's put the playhead at the end here. And now we're going to change the properties. So you can see here, there's a couple different options. One is the actual uh, film that you're looking at or the, the video that's on the screen, the visual properties. So we're gonna change the visual properties. I'm just going to take this corner here and drag it out and make sure you're, you're not moving things around like that, that you're actually using the arrow. So say we wanted to zoom into this particular spot here. And so then it's gonna be zoomed in for a while and then let's go ahead and we'll move it over to a new spot. So we'll drag down another custom animation, drag it onto here. Uh, we can change it. Let's make this one go really fast this time. And we'll take this one and we're gonna move it up here. So this is what we're looking at at that point. So let me go ahead and play this. So I'm gonna move the playhead back here just by clicking and go ahead and play and I'll show you what it does. So you can see here, this is the screen. This is what's gonna end up in the actual video. And this is just showing us the parts that are being cut off. So you can see that was a nice slow zoom in. And let me go over here and continue playing. And you see how it moved over rather quickly. So you've got lots of options here. You can change things. You can say, you know what? I wanna move it around. I want to, after that transition, make it less dense, make it rotate. Uh, so lots and lots of options. And once you are finished setting everything the way you like it, then you will go up to the share button in the upper right is a good spot to go. And I like to save it to a local file first. Uh, you can go directly to YouTube or Google Drive or Screencast, uh, but I prefer to go to a local file to get it saved on my hard drive and then upload that file to something like YouTube or Vimeo or whatnot.